Hi, Lucy. My name's Ashley. Thanks Hello, for coming Ashley. in today. Thank Good. you. How's it going? I've had better days. Better days. Okay. Why don't you tell me a little bit about why you're here today? So I was suspended from work. To I got in an argument with a coworker and I got suspended. Well, before we get started, I do want to go over some basic information with you. Mm -hmm. um, so anything that's said in this room is between you and I. So, um, you know, confidentiality is key. Um, anything you say is between us and I will not repeat it to anyone. Um, however, there are some instances in when I would need to break that confidentiality. Um, one of them is that if you disclose any child abuse, I would need to report that. Um, and same goes as elderly abuse. Um, I would need to report that as well. And then the last thing would be if you're showing any Im uh, imminent harm to yourself or to others, um, I would need to report that as well. Um, mm -hmm. Is that okay? Do you understand those? Yeah. Okay. That's great. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. So why don't you um, go ahead and tell me a little bit more about why you're suspended from work. So I work at a restaurant. I've been there for probably about a couple of years and I'm a host. So I'm the first person you see when you come in, yeah. and I get to talk to all of the, the customers, and I really enjoy being at the restaurant. It's a little mom and pop place. Um, it's an Italian food restaurant, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, and then my coworker and I just got into a huge argument one day and they suspended me okay. for a while until I can figure this out. Okay. So what what were you suspended for? I mean, I got into this argument um, in the kitchen. It was kind of like it was during a busy time too, and so I can you know I just don't understand why they fired me. I can see that like or suspended me, and I can see, you know, why it might not be good for business, but, like, they didn't do anything to him, mm. you know, like, I was to blame for it, and, um, so I'm just trying to understand, you know, why I even, why I engaged in this type of communication with another person um, and then why I was suspended for it. You know, I feel like it was both of our, both of our faults. Right. Right. Okay, so it sounds like I uh, got into an altercation with someone at work um, and because of that and during busy hours and maybe some loud chaotic behavior, um, your boss felt it was appropriate to suspend you um, and for whatever reason, not the other person involved. Is that is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it still works though. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, tell me a little bit more about the altercation. What what was going on there? Like what was said? Um. Uh, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Like kind of what? Okay. Um. Well, I was doing my hosting duties, and I go back to the kitchen to eat a piece of bread because we can eat on the job and watch it. I'm kind of hungry and I'm just eating, dipping it in the sauce, eating a little bread um, and then I like drop a little bit <coughs> and I go to get a napkin to wipe it up and then I see the co-worker because I have to go around the corner mm -hmm. so I kind of see him and he's like and he says something to me and then I kind of like I, I my heart started going really really quickly yeah like just so fast and I started like sweating and I like I kind of felt a little dizzy, a little anxious, and and then I kind of exploded. Like, I just yelled at him. Oh, so you yelled at him? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just yeah. Okay. Well, let's just explore your day a little bit. Um, how was your day? You know, how were you feeling that day? Were you in a good mood, bad mood? It's in a good mood. Okay. It's in a good mood. A little tired, but I was in a good mood. I got to, you know, get up early, I went on a run. I got to eat breakfast, had my coffee, looked at the sun, turned on some good music because I drove to work and was like singing along. You know, that was good. A little tired, but good. And I get to work and, and yeah, I, just, I was in a good mood. Okay. 
Okay, from what I recall. Yeah, so it sounds like, you know, you went to work in a good mood. You kind of had a good productive day. Yeah. Um, so was there anything at work that had kind of, um, kind of upset you or anything or? Not particularly at work. Um, the people I'm with are great, so I can't, can't think of anything from the work upset me. Okay. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about this co-worker. What's your guys' relationship like? We're actually pretty good friends. I mean, yeah. We hang out sometimes together outside of work. We have a pretty good relationship. We joke around. Um, makes work a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Um, he's just a friend. He's never been anything more than that. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty nice guy. We're about the same age, relatively. Okay. Okay. Um, was there anything bothering you about that day or about that coworker, um, from previous encounters, maybe? Like, have him and I kind of been in the Uber? Yeah. No. Actually, we've never, we've never, we've never even raised our voices at each other. We, that's why, like, you could do me by surprise, you know, like, why did we jump down this throat? So tell me a little bit more about um, what you were saying to him. Well, I just walked in, I was like, hey there, Joseph, how are you today? And uh, he just commented back and said he was having a good day and um, he just made a subtle comment about my hair. And then, um, you know, then I started feeling anxious and, uh, you know, the rest is history. He just jumped down his throat. Yeah. Yeah. And so he, it sounds like he made a comment about your hair and, and something about that kind of felt uneasy. You yeah. were anxious and, and didn't appreciate the comment. Yeah, it was like, that was out of context. Like we were, like what? Like I'm at my job. Like are you, why are you commenting about what I look like? Very much Yeah. Okay. Has he um, ever made any comments or gestures like this before? No. No. No, I don't know. Not ever before. It's always just been platonic friendship. Okay. All right, so I'm just trying to, you know, understand um, a little more about this comment and, and why you had the reaction that you did. Yeah. Um, did he have, was his tone and delivery uncomfortable for you? Um, he had a smile on his face. He looked all chipper. Uh, he was wearing his work clothes. I mean, I don't know about his tone. No, I don't, can't think of yeah, no, he's happy. Okay. Have you ever um, had that statement? Has your appearance ever been bothersome for you? Um, when people comment on your appearance, has it ever bothered you before? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. But I mean, like, I've worked on this with, like, a therapist two years ago, you know, so, like, Yeah. I've already worked on this with a therapist. I'm super confused about it all. I don't know. You know. So it sounds like there's something about your appearance that kind of makes you feel, or people commenting on your appearance, but it sounds like you dealt with this with a counselor before. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about that and what you mean? Yeah. So a couple years ago, <coughs> I was um, raised by someone and, um, yeah. 
things and you know, one of the things that the first way I met this person was um, we were at this club and he had commented on on my hair and yeah but you know I've worked with a therapist already through this and we kind of explored it and um, I thought like I've been healed um, or at least dealt with it and you know, incorporated into my life and understood and so long ago um, I guess I've also been having these dreams though you know, I've been a little tired walking to work. Just getting really tired sometimes. Having this crazy dream. Okay, so, um, you know, you had this situation happen a couple of years ago, um, and it sounds like um, there was a comment made about your hair. And so maybe there was some, um, you related that a little bit, it made you feel a little anxious and comfortable. Um, then you also described to me these dreams that you've been having dreams you've been pretty tired at work why don't you tell me a little bit more about the so i had this dream like it probably happens every other day it's a recurring one um it's black and white and i am walking through a neighborhood it's like a cul-de-sac and there's a school on somewhere, I think on my left hand bed or something. And I'm walking into this like garage and I'm lost and I'm trying to, I really want to go home. I keep asking these people. I just really, you know, I just, I just, I just want to like, I don't, I just want to go home, you know, and I don't, I just like, I'm sorry. I just like, I don't, I just don't. I just, I'm feeling really, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really anxious and... That's okay. It's really hard. Well, um, if you'd like, before we continue, we can um, uh, take part in a breathing exercise and, and kind of gather ourselves. And it seems like you're pretty anxious and nervous right now. Yeah. Is that something you'd like to do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. So let's start by, uh, let's put both of our feet on the floor here. Okay. Um, and we can do this together. Um, and so what I'd like you to do is um, take a big, deep breath in through your nose. And you're going to uh, count to three and keep breathing, breathing. And then you're going to hold it. And then hold it for three. And then I want you to exhale out of your mouth. Okay? Okay. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Ready? Okay. Okay. And hold it. And breathe out. Gonna try that one more time. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it again. Ready? And breathe in. Okay, and breathe out. Great. Are you feeling better? Yeah. Yeah. Seems you're being a little anxious, which is okay. You know, this is a difficult subject to talk about. So, um, if at any time in the session you are feeling overwhelmed. Um, please feel free to stop me or stop yourself and, and do this breathing exercise. Um, it definitely helps to kind of regain and, yeah. and take a break. It's really hard to talk about it, you know, and to talk about yeah. this dream. And sometimes I'll, you know, cry. I'll wake up crying. Um, and I can't figure out why. And I can't, I'm like debilitated by my dream completely. Can't go down my day. Um, I know I'm tired, but yeah. okay. So it sounds like you have this dream, and it's it's bringing back memories. It's you really don't feel comfortable with this dream. You're not getting much sleep at night. You're going to work. You're feeling tired. You're feeling irritable. And you have this situation with this coworker where he brings something that you know with these dreams is kind of bringing you back to something that had happened to you a couple of years ago. That sounds hard, but yeah. Mm. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's been hard to work through and hard to wake up and go throughout my day and pretend that like the dreams aren't there and that they're not. Yeah, to put on a good smiley face because I'm a host. 
you yeah. know, and I can't show that this is happening. Well, let's, let's explore this dream a little more. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about this dream? So you had mentioned there was a school nearby, um, you had been walking, you wanted to go home. Um, and again, if you are feeling overwhelmed, feel free to stop and we can, we can do another breathing exercise. Um, but if you'd like, I'd just like to hear a little bit more about this dream. So, I'm going to try to go back to it. Um, so, I'm lost. I'm feeling lost. I'm feeling, feeling, I'm just, I just, I'm like, oh, where am I? I want to go home. Mm -hmm. I'm in this garage. I'm in this garage, and um, all of a sudden in my dream, it like blacks out for a little bit of time. I don't know, it's like, and then I reappear again, and I'm by this truck in a garage. I'm still lost, and I'm just almost crying to go home, and then, and then I like leave the garage, and I'm walking down the sh like a street again, and I see these alcohol bottles, so many different kinds, like beer, hot liquor, um, wine. And they're kind of lining the road, and I'm just walking down the street, and all like I just keep walking, still winding home. And I just walk along the street with all these alcohol bottles, and then I wake up every. That's why I wake up every time, and I wake up and and like I'm not sure you know where they're coming from, like exactly, because I mean, I've never really been lost, but. It makes me cry. It makes me sad. So what are some emotions that you experience when you're when you're dreaming, when you're having these emotions? Yeah. I'm sad. I'm scared. I'm frightened. I feel small. Um but usually I, it's like a, like I can feel the tension even um, in my dream of like this urgency to get home, an urgency to not be where I'm at. I don't like it. I don't like the side. I don't like the garage. I just don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. but, like these things are all around me happening and I'm just trying to get home. So just feelings of loss, sadness, um, overwhelmed, it sounds like. Super. Um, if you're not in control of the situation. Yeah. Okay. Like everything around me is happening. I'm just trying to get home, get by, and get out of there. Just leave. I can't seem to do it. Okay. So I want to explore a little bit more about um, this alcohol scene in your dream. Mm -hmm. um, where you're seeing these bottles. What what significance does that have to you, if any? Well, I I drink on occasion, you know, like on the weekends with friends, we socially drink, or um, I don't drink too much anymore yeah not anymore okay now you say anymore do um, you remember that what do you mean you know i went through what in my party stage a couple years ago three years ago a couple years ago i went through a party stage and drank a lot and you know or through this a little bit once but i used to drink couple years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is this a, around the same time as the incident you were talking about earlier? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I kind of explored it, you know, but I just, 
alcohol, I just, you know, even with that incident, like, what, part of the reason why I tried to, you know, slow down my drinking is because, like, I should have never drank that night. I just should have never gone out. I should have never gone out with friends. I should have never been at that club. I, I should have never been drinking. If I would have never drank, then I wouldn't have had that experience happen to me. You know? It's not your fault, okay? Um, it sounds like you're you're talking about guilt and shame here, and um, you know, and and you need to know that none of that was your fault. Um, you, uh, everyone is allowed to go out and enjoy some alcoholic beverages and and party. Um, everyone's in, entitled to whatever they choose to do, um, and drinking alcohol or not, what happened to you was not okay, mm -hmm. um, and it's not your fault. And I try to, I try to, I try, I try really hard to tell myself it's not my fault. It's just that little bit of like sugar cut over there, you know, should have never been there, should have. Should have never been drinking. Should have just never. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to go home. <laughs> Should have never been at the club. Um, like I said, you know, it, it's not your fault, and um, you know, it sounds like this dream you're having it is really. Um, mimicking some of those thoughts and feelings that um, were happening maybe a couple of years ago with the rape situation the incident. Yeah, I can. Do you agree with that? I can, I can see that. You know, the alcohol and feeling scared. Wanting to go home you know, during the situation, I just, I did feel, I just didn't want to you know, I didn't I want to be there in that scene, you know, I just want to go home. And it sounds like, um, you know, the situation that you have with this co-worker, um, you guys are good friends, you guys have always had a pretty good relationship, um, but he made a comment about your appearance, um, and it brought you back to that night a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And since then, you've been having these dreams um, that are bringing you back to that night a couple of years ago. Um, yeah. It sounds like maybe it's all related. Mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. How do you feel about that? It's hard because I thought that I had worked through this mm -hmm. and part of me almost didn't even remember um, that that comment was really said. Like I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't see the connection, and my body was just reacting. And you think I thought I was okay. I thought I was fine, and I didn't. I had the dreams, but it wasn't like forefront, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm so happy at work. Mm -hmm. and I'm so happy, and I'm trying so hard to be, you know, grow as a person, and. I thought I had gone through that, you know, so I saw counselors to grow and to move through this. Mm -hmm. And then this other thing comes and I feel like I moved behind, you know, moved down in my growing and I'm just disappointed. Just disappointed in myself. Well, you know, um, a situation like this, it it will take time to heal, and even if we think that we've processed through it, um, it can take progress every day for us to get through these things, and little things we don't even relate, such as this coworker, um, can trigger us and make us feel these emotions of guilt, shame, overwhelmed, anxious, mm -hmm. loss of control. These are all common mm -hmm. thoughts and feelings. Yeah. So I want you to think about this situation with your coworker, okay? 
And I want you to think about it as if you were watching it as a movie and you're sitting at a movie theater watching this play out in a screen before you. Okay? And you're watching yourself and this coworker um, in this altercation where he um, brings up this comment about your hair, about your appearance. Um, and so kind of think about that for a minute. So I'm, the, I'm, I'm just kind of watching it play out. Yeah, exactly. Just watching it as if it were a movie in front of you. Don't try not to put yourself in the situation, but more as if you're watching it as a movie. What's his body saying? What's your body language? How's your day going? How's his day going? It's an interesting, like it's hard to like, it's been difficult to, you know, it's difficult to bring yourself to watch like a movie. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's like, a real thing before me. Can you tell me a little bit about what you saw? I saw the situation occur, you know, again, but I think I take more notice of his smile, you know, or his, or the friendship we've always had together. And how harmless he really is and I don't feel so anxious thinking about it um, and it makes me kind of feel like I could have reacted differently and um, or seen it from another perspective or even if I would have told him, maybe he would have understood. We've had a friendship now since I've worked there. And I do feel really comfortable with him. I don't have to say something versus lashing out. And I'm sure that his comment probably, even like looking at it, like he probably had no idea. He probably had no idea what he was seeing. He didn't do anything towards him or make me feel a certain way, and, um, yeah, so, that's how I feel like, if I were watching it, I would have thought the whole scene was, before me yelling, was just two people having a general conversation at work, and he's probably just trying to be nice. Yeah, so, um, you know, you did have this altercation with this coworker, and it sounds like it's kind of related to your, your past. Mm -hmm. um, and you got triggered, and that's okay. You're going to experience that in the future. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it's nice to be able to detach yourself and, and kind of understand the situation at hand. Um, mm -hmm. From a different it, perspective. Yeah, from a different perspective. Yeah. Um, so what I'd like you to work on... Um, when you leave here today is really um, taking note and your control of yourself and of your self-worth and what you are capable of doing. Um, so positive affirmations or I am affirmations um, is going to allow you to kind of embrace that in yourself and really um, empower yourself. Um, and simple cues like I am okay, I am in control. Um, so if you are feeling um, overwhelmed or triggered or anything like that, um, you can say an I am affirmation, um, such as I am okay. Um, and really, really try to embrace that. Mm -hmm. um, so saying it right when I notice my heart about 100 miles an hour absolutely when you're you're feeling anxious you know you can stop and um, do a breathing exercise and kind of reground yourself and then just right after that repeat I am okay do you think that will help yeah it'll it'll it it could at least pull me back for a second you know like that one second to think mm -hmm. 
I am okay. And it'll make me realize the work I've done here and the work I've done with a therapist. It's a really quick, simple reminder. Mm -hmm. I am okay. And maybe some breath work if it's not too embarrassing. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Okay, so just a little bit, um, a recap of kind of what we've talked about today. Um, you came in really concerned and, and really anxious about you being suspended from your work, and we kind of um, explored that a little bit and what that situation was like with your coworker. And it sounds like it brought up some feelings um, from your past and from a situation you thought you'd already dealt with, um, mm -hmm. but as we went through this, it, it seems that you know, you will get triggered every now and then, and having the appropriate tools or resources um, to kind of help you reground yourself in that moment, and mm -hmm. kind of help you work through that moment. That way there is no um, sudden altercation resulting in, in work conflict or coworker conflict. Yeah, and then maybe like working through it like in the dream, you know, like, yeah. I'll be able to understand it more. Mm -hmm. I feel like that no matter what happened, I'll still, you know, in my past, that still continual work to do right. and growth. And having a homework assignment might help me continue growing. Yeah. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, Lucy, it was so great meeting with you. Um, I'm glad you were able to come in today and kind of process um, your dream and, and your um, suspension from work. And I, I hope that I was of some service for you. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's awesome meeting you and have a great day. Thank you. You too.